Hello everyone, and welcome to another video from our channel Immortal News. In this video we'll be bringing you a list of famous celebrities who have passed away today October 6th, as well as in the last few days. Along with that, we have some special tributes to share. Later in the video, we'll delicately discuss the recent news regarding the situation of the famous rapper, Drake. So, stay tuned. Before we proceed, we kindly ask you to show your love and support by giving this video a like. Thank you. Number 18. Lady Kathy Ferguson. The pillar behind Sir Alex Ferguson's success. Lady Kathy Ferguson. Ferguson, the cherished wife of legendary Manchester United manager Sir Alex Ferguson, has passed away at the age of 84. A native of Glasgow, Kathy Holding's life with Sir Alex began when they met at a typewriter factory in 1964. Their love story flourished, leading to their marriage in 1966 and the subsequent nurturing of three children and twelve grandchildren. The Ferguson family, mourning the loss, released a statement sharing their grief and requesting privacy during this difficult time. The resilient Lady Kathy, once skeptical of the budding footballer due to his rough appearance, recollected their first date involving a cinema visit and a shared box of licorice all sorts in the documentary Sir Alex Ferguson Never Give In. Sir Alex, upon his retirement in 2013, affectionately spoke of Kathy as his bedrock, emphasizing her unwavering support and the profound impact she had on his life and career. Manchester United expressed their condolences, recognizing Lady Kathy as a tower of strength for Sir Alex. Lady Kathy's legacy continues through her family, including son Darren, manager of Peterborough United, and eldest son Mark, an investment banker. The football community mourns the loss of an incredible woman who was the backbone of one of its most celebrated figures. Tributes to Lady Kathy Ferguson. Number 17, Zoe Trilling, a radiant star of horror and boundless determination. Zoe Trilling, renowned as the vibrant actress in the horror genre, passed away on September 8th in Vista, California, at the age of 57. Born Geraldin Marie Betzler on May 27, 1966, in Wausau, Wisconsin, Zoe's passion for the arts led her to Los Angeles at just 18. With roles in iconic series such as Guiding Light, and films like Night of the Demons 2, where she brilliantly portrayed Shirley Finnerty, Zoe became a memorable face in the entertainment world. Her dedication wasn't confined to the screen. Zoe's entrepreneurial spirit shone when she played a role in setting up a distributorship for what is now Naked Juice. Her love for dance translated into a career as a choreographer in New York City and her dedication to health and fitness led her to teach yoga and personal training. Zoe's legacy is celebrated by her loving family, including her mother, Phoebe Ruona, brother Mike Betzler, and father Larry Betzler, along with her step-siblings, uncles, aunts, numerous cousins, and her cherished, lifelong friends. She will be privately laid to rest at Lakewood Cemetery, Minneapolis, leaving behind a legacy of talent, determination, and an indomitable spirit. Tributes to Zoe Trilling. Number 16. Jordan Levy, pioneering politician and voice of Worcester. Jordan Levy, the notable American independent politician and celebrated talk radio host from Worcester, Massachusetts, passed away on October 5th at the age of 79. A significant figure in Worcester's political landscape, Levy served as the city's mayor twice, first from 1981 to 1982 and then from 1988 to 1993. Known for his engaging presence on the airwaves, 
He also hosted The Jordan Levy Show on WTAG during weekday afternoons. In the realm of politics, Levy's tenure saw transformative changes in Worcester's governance. Initially a ceremonial mayor under the Plan E government, he made history in 1987 by becoming Worcester's first popularly elected mayor in four decades, following a revision of the city charter. Later, from 1995 to 1998, Levy represented the Massachusetts Executive Council's 7th Councilor District. His contributions also extended to the Massachusetts Turnpike Authority, where he was appointed by Governor Paul Cellucci for a seven-year term starting in 1997. In 2010, Levy endured a personal loss with the passing of his wife Maxine Levy to cancer. Jordan Levy's legacy as a dedicated public servant and a prominent media voice will be remembered by many in Massachusetts and beyond. Tributes to Jordan Levy. Number 15. Jacqueline Carrieri, a luminous star of Latin American cinema and fashion. Jacqueline Carrieri, an iconic name in Latin American film and a former Argentine beauty queen, tragically passed away at the age of 48 in California. A respected figure in both the entertainment and fashion industries, her untimely death, caused by complications from cosmetic surgery, has deeply saddened fans and colleagues alike. Hailing from Argentina, Jacqueline's early triumphs include being crowned Queen of the Punta del Agua District and achieving the title of Deputy Queen at the San Rafael Unvendimia Grape Harvest Festival in 1996. As an actress, her performances grace the stage of the Roma Theater. Offstage, Jacqueline's influence was felt in the fashion world through her upscale boutique, Jacqueline Carrieri Boutique, and her pivotal role in designing for San Rafael pageant queens. She is remembered by a touching post on her Instagram, paying tribute to her legacy. Today we want to inform our followers of sad news. Jacqueline Carrieri has passed away. From Reinas de San Rafael, we want to send our condolences to family and friends in this difficult moment. Her legacy, a blend of cinematic talent and fashion acumen, will endure in the hearts of many. Tributes to Jacqueline Carrieri. Number 14, Bill Monroe, a guiding force in Scottish football. Bill Monroe, an esteemed figure in Scottish football, passed away at the age of 89 on October 6. Born on June 21, 1934, in Glasgow, Monroe began his journey in football, playing for prominent clubs like Kilmarnock, Barrow, and East Stirlingshire. His managerial prowess was recognized when he took the helm of Clydebank in 1975. Under his leadership, the club experienced a meteoric rise, achieving back-to-back -back promotions and marking their presence in Scotland's Premier League by 1977. Monroe's six-year tenure with Clydebank is fondly remembered, and many regard him as the club's greatest manager ever. Post-Clydebank, Monroe showcased his managerial expertise with Airdrie and made noteworthy contributions to women's football, particularly with Cumbernauld ladies. Outside the realm of football, he was remembered by peers and neighbors as a consummate gentleman. The football community deeply mourns his loss, coming shortly after the passing of former striker Frank McDougall. Tribute to Bill Monroe. Number 13. Mary Kronopoulou the luminary of Greek cinema and theater. Mary Kronopoulou, the iconic Greek actress, passed away on the 6th of October at the age of 90 due to complications arising from a fall. Born in Athens on the 16th of July, 1933, Mary quickly rose to prominence in the 1960s as one of Greece's most popular actresses. She graced the silver screen in numerous films, 
16 of which were produced by the renowned Finos film. Beyond her cinematic achievements, Chronopoulou was also an undeniable force in the Greek theater, captivating audiences with her compelling performances. Her legacy was duly recognized when, in June 2021, she was honored with the Lifetime Achievement Award at the Iris Award Ceremony, presented by the Hellenic Film Academy. The award, symbolizing her significant contribution to various cinematic genres, was handed over by notable figures like Spiros Bibilas, the president of the Greek Actors Guild, and Georgos Tsemberopoulos, the Academy's president. Mary's last appearance on screen was a guest role in the third season of Eteros Ego Nemesis, directed by Sotiris Tsafoulias. Her passing leaves an irreplaceable void in the artistic world, but her legacy remains casting a long shadow over Greek arts and culture. Tribute to Mary Chronopoulou. Number 12, Austin Lane Jr., the compassionate steward of St. Louis, final farewells. Austin Lane Jr., the distinguished founder and president of the revered Austin Lane Mortuary, passed away on October 1st at the age of 87. A luminary figure in the St. Louis community, Lane's name became synonymous with grace, compassion, and a heartfelt commitment to service. The front of Austin Lane Mortuary, now adorned with black bunting, stands as a testament to a man who, with his golden heart, profoundly impacted the lives of countless families. His role may have been centered around final goodbyes, but through his music and services, he provided warmth and comfort at the city's most iconic black funeral homes. Many, like Ricky Whittington of Plaza Motor Company, held Lane in deep reverence. Whittington recalls Lane as not just a towering figure in the funeral industry, but as a mentor and a guiding light in his life, and to many young men in St. Louis. Lane's influence extended beyond city borders, touching lives in St. Louis County and even on a global scale. Above all, he was recognized as a humble servant of God, with unwavering love for the Lord and his family. Austin Lane Jr. is survived by his wife and daughter. His indelible legacy in serving the community with empathy and dedication will be fondly remembered by those whose lives he touched. Tribute to Austin Lane Jr. Number 11. Ellsworth Johnson, a brave paratrooper and lasting legacy of World War II. Ellsworth Al Johnson, a courageous medic who served in the Special Operations Group during World War II, passed away on September 30th in Zeeland, Meek. He was 100 years old. Johnson was an esteemed member of the Office of Strategic Services, a precursor to the CIA. Notably, he parachuted into enemy territories in France and China, executing critical missions that played a pivotal role in the war's outcome. Born on July 5, 1923 in Ohio, Johnson's military roots ran deep, with his early years spent on bases where his father served. He was drafted in 1943, and despite being trained as a medic, he sought the intensity of the battlefield over the aftermath. He took on high-risk missions with the OSS, including collaborating with the French resistance to capture strategic locations and working alongside Chinese paratroopers against Japanese-occupied territory. Johnson's exceptional bravery earned him two bronze stars. He was also honored with the Congressional Gold Medal for Intelligence and Special Operations during World War II. His secretive missions were classified until 1995. Beyond his military accomplishments, Johnson was a dedicated family man. After the war, he pursued a career as a salesman. He was predeceased by his wife, Jeanette DeBoer, in 2021, and is survived by his three children, seven grandchildren, and nine great-grandchildren. Tribute to Ellsworth Johnson. Number 10, Reeves McBee, a golfing legend and advocate for the sport. Reeves McBee, 
the American professional golfer known for his remarkable contributions to the PGA Tour and Senior PGA Tour, passed away in Dallas on October 4th at the age of 84. Born in Denton, Texas and spending most of his life in Irving, McBee's journey in golf began much before his professional tenure. His prowess as an amateur was evident when he tied the U.S. Open record with a stellar 65 in 1966 at Olympic Club, leaving the golf community in awe and finishing T13, his best performance in a major championship. From 1966 to 1971, McBee showcased his talent on the PGA Tour. His commitment to the sport extended beyond just playing. He served as the head golf professional at Las Colinas Country Club in Irving and was instrumental in founding the Northern Texas Junior Golf Association. With accolades like the Northern Texas PGA Teacher of the Year and winning the club pro's national title in 1973, McBee's legacy was already cemented. However, he didn't stop there. Competing on the senior PGA Tour from 1989 to 1997, he secured three victories, underscoring his enduring talent and passion for the game. McBee's impact on golf, both in Texas and on the national stage, remains unparalleled. Tribute to Rives McBee. Number 9. Kurt Schumacher, a football luminary and pillar of Ohio State legacy. Kurt Schumacher, a renowned figure in the world of football, from his notable days in greater Cleveland high school fields to his legendary moments at Ohio State, passed away at the age of 70 on September 29th. His family has confirmed his demise last Friday in North Carolina, though the cause remains undisclosed. Hailing from Cleveland, Schumacher's football journey began under the guidance of coach Doug Thompson at Lorraine, eventually leading him to Ohio State in 1971. Under the legendary Woody Hayes, Schumacher emerged as a two-year starter at left tackle. During his tenure, the Buckeyes enjoyed a February 1st 20 record, two Big Ten titles, and a cherished Rose Bowl victory. In 1974, his prowess was recognized with first-team All-America honors from multiple institutions, while he was instrumental in Archie Griffin securing his first of two Heisman trophies. Post-college, Schumacher made his mark in the NFL. Drafted in the first round by New Orleans, he graced the field for both the Saints and Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Beyond the gridiron, Schumacher transitioned to a four-decade-long business career, even helming his own venture for six years. Kurt Schumacher leaves behind his wife Jackie, two children, and five cherished grandchildren. As the community mourns the loss of this football icon, contributions in his memory to the Mr. Mo Project are encouraged. Tribute to Kurt Schumacher. Number 8. April Peterson, Visionary Farmer and Pillar of Frugthaven The beloved co-owner of Frugthaven Farm, April Peterson, has unexpectedly passed away. Her sudden departure was heartbreakingly announced by the farm on its Facebook page, emphasizing the irreplaceable void she leaves behind. Founded in 2019, April, alongside her husband Mike, transformed a spontaneous 75-acre property purchase into the thriving Frugthaven Farm. Together, they embraced the art of apple cultivation, eventually expanding the farm's offerings to include a market, cafe, donuts, hard cider tastings, and more. Beyond its agricultural pursuits, Frugthaven also became a sought-after wedding and event venue under April's stewardship. As the farm community mourns, they've requested respect for the grieving family. While the cidery remains closed, all scheduled events will proceed with the farm appreciating thoughts and prayers during this challenging time. Tribute to April Peterson. Number 7. Karim Slawi, 
e-bike visionary and pillar of urban sustainable mobility. Karim Slawi, the innovative mind behind Cowboy, and a pioneer in the e-bike industry, passed away last on September 29th at the young age of 36. Tragically, a rare form of cancer, synovial sarcoma, took Karim from us two years after his initial diagnosis in 2019. Born a hardware specialist with a PhD in applied mathematics from Université Catholique de Louvain, Karim was more than just his degrees. He was a visionary. In 2017, alongside co-founders Adrian Roos and Tengi Goretti, the trio birthed Cowboy. The company under Karim's leadership has championed the cause of sustainable urban mobility, selling over 55,000 e-bikes and significantly contributing to the reduction of carbon emissions in cities. As Roos and Goretti put it, without Karim, there would be no Cowboy. He wasn't just an entrepreneur. He was a close friend and partner whose vision was to make the world a better place. Kareem's legacy is not only etched in the strides Cowboy has made, but also in his personal mantra shared by his wife, Arori, be optimistic and innovate. Tribute to Kareem Slawi. Number six, George Schlogel, Mississippi's pillar of community and banking excellence. George Schlogel, former Gulfport mayor and a banking luminary, passed away at 83. Born on June 17, 1940, Schlogel's journey from the basement of Hancock Bank to its chairman's office was emblematic of his tenacity. After a 52-year banking career, he realized a childhood dream in 2009 by becoming Gulfport's mayor a position he held till 2013. Schlogel's credentials span from a Bachelor of Science from the University of New Orleans to attending esteemed programs at Harvard Business School, Columbia University, and Northwestern University. A prominent faculty member of banking institutions, he was the past president of the Mississippi Bankers Association and served on multiple boards, infusing his profound wisdom into banking and community projects alike. Founder of the Harrison County Strategic Planning Commission and various other organizations, his dedication to Mississippi's Gulf Coast was unparalleled. Awards such as Mississippi's Young Man of the Year, Laurel Wreath Citizen of the Year, and his induction into the Mississippi Business Hall of Fame only scratched the surface of his illustrious life. He leaves behind his beloved wife, Peggy Harry, their four children, and numerous grandchildren. His indelible impact on Gulfport and Mississippi will forever remain. Tribute to George Schlogel. Number five, Anthony Cabero, a beacon of promise in law enforcement. Anthony Cabero, a dedicated member of the Hialeah Police Department, tragically passed away at the young age of 22. His life was abruptly taken in an off-duty motorcycle accident at the intersection of Campbell Drive and 147th Avenue in Homestead. Recognized as a remarkable young man by his colleagues, Cabero had served the Hialeah community with unwavering commitment for just over a year. The incident, which took place on Thursday afternoon, has left the department and the community in deep mourning. In a touching gesture of respect and solidarity, fellow officers formed a procession to salute as Cabero's body was taken to the medical examiner's office. The Hialeah Police Department has asked for thoughts and prayers for Cabero's friends, family, and fellow officers. Their moving statement assures him, we got it from here, echoing the camaraderie and support that law enforcement officers share. The incident remains under investigation by the Homestead Police Department as they strive to bring clarity to this tragic event. Tribute to Officer Anthony Cabero. Number four. Esme Timbery, a celebrated Bidjigal artist and legacy in shellworking. 
Esme Timbury, a renowned Bidjigal artist known for her distinctive shell work, passed away on the 6th of October in a nursing home on the New South Wales South Coast. She was 92. Born on the 14th of February 1931 in Port Kembla, Timbury was a proud descendant of the Bidjigal Aboriginal heritage and came from a long line of shell workers, including her great-grandmother, Emma Timbury. Throughout her life, Esme Timbury's artworks combined traditional shellworking with contemporary elements, with pieces such as the shellworked versions of the Sydney Opera House showcasing her innovative approach. She was recognized with the NSW Indigenous Art Prize in 2005 and her work Shellworked Slippers stands as a memorial to the stolen generations. Her artworks are preserved in prominent Australian institutions, including the Museum of Contemporary Art Australia, National Museum of Australia, National Gallery of Australia, and the Art Gallery of New South Wales. An ABC documentary, She Sells Seashells, was produced in 2007 to honor her life and contributions. Beyond her artistic achievements, Timbury's legacy has been immortalized through the naming of a building at the University of New South Wales and a river-class ferry in the Sydney Ferries Network in her honor. Esme Timbury leaves behind eight children and a legacy of artistry and cultural preservation that will continue to inspire generations to come. Tribute to Esme Timbury. Breaking news, international sensation Drake has made headlines yet again. On October 6th, the Canadian rap maestro revealed he's pressing pause on his illustrious music journey, citing pressing health concerns. During his appearance on Sirius XM's Table for One, a candid Drake opened up about long-standing stomach issues, stating, my health has to come first. Interestingly, this announcement follows hot on the heels of the release buzz surrounding his eighth studio album, For All the Dogs. What caught everyone's eye was the album cover, a creative piece crafted by none other than his five-year-old prodigy, Adonis. Now while we might miss his musical genius for a while, Drake has been quick to reassure fans. He remains dedicated to other commitments and projects he's teased earlier. As for when he'll make a comeback? That's up in the air, with hints suggesting anywhere from a year to possibly more. This move by Drake shines a spotlight on the undeniable significance of health and well-being. Now it's time to remember the legends who passed away in the past years. Number 3. Rip Taylor, the King of Confetti, an unforgettable comedic force Rip Taylor, the vibrant comedian renowned as the King of Confetti, passed away on October 6th in 2019 at 88 in Los Angeles. His comedic flair, showcased for over 50 years in the industry, was recognized for its unique blend of self-deprecating humor and his endearing confetti gags. Born Charles Elmer Taylor in 1931, Rip made countless appearances on variety and game shows. Memorable for his unceasing wit, his presence lit up shows like The Hollywood Square's Match Game and The $1.98 Beauty Show. He maintained his iconic status with appearances in Wayne's World 2 and as a voice artist for characters like Uncle Fester in the animated The Addams Family. Rip's life wasn't always filled with laughter. He faced challenges in his childhood, finding solace in humor. His decision to throw torn joke cards as confetti on the Merv Griffin show became his comedic trademark, endearing him further to his audience. His services to the entertainment world were recognized with a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame in 1992. His enduring legacy includes not just his memorable performances, but also the joy he brought to millions. Rip's passing leaves behind his long-term partner, Robert Fortney. His life's tapestry was woven with humor, warmth, and an unmistakable touch of confetti. The world will remember and miss this irreplaceable entertainer. Tribute to Rip Taylor Number 2. Scott Wilson, a cinematic luminary with an indelible legacy, 
Scott Wilson, an American actor renowned for his extensive cinematic contributions, passed away on October 6th in 2018, at the age of 76 due to leukemia in Los Angeles. With a career spanning over five decades, he left an indelible mark with roles in iconic films such as In the Heat of the Night, In Cold Blood, and The Great Gatsby. In 1980, his riveting performance in The Ninth Configuration earned him a Golden Globe nomination for Best Supporting Actor. Wilson's versatility was further showcased in television. His portrayal of veterinarian Herschel Green on AMC's The Walking Dead from 2011 to 2014 and a brief return in 2018 garnered widespread acclaim. Additionally, he played significant roles in CSI Crime Scene Investigation and Netflix's The OA. Born in Thomasville, Georgia, Scott's rise to fame began with a starring role in In the Heat of the Night in 1967 and he quickly became a household name. Beyond the screen, Scott shared his life with his wife, Heavenly, whom he married in 1977. His passing was profoundly felt by fans and contemporaries alike. In tribute, the premiere episode of The Walking Dead's ninth season was dedicated to his memory. Scott Wilson's legacy remains as a testament to his unparalleled talent and passion for the craft. Tributes to Scott Wilson. Number 1. Eddie Van Halen, the virtuoso guitarist who redefined rock. Eddie Van Halen, the iconic guitarist who co-founded the legendary rock band Van Halen, passed away on October 6, 2020 at the age of 65 after a courageous battle with cancer. His passing was confirmed by his loving son, Wolf Van Halen, who described every moment with him as a precious gift. Born Edward Lodovic Van Halen, his distinctive guitar playing, characterized by innovative tapping techniques, made him a benchmark for generations of musicians. With his brother Alex on drums, Van Halen formed a band in 1972, later recruiting bassist Michael Anthony and vivacious lead singer David Lee Roth. This lineup ushered in an era of rock and roll dominance throughout the late 1970s and 80s, with timeless hits like Jump and Panama. While the band underwent several lineup changes, notably oscillating between lead singers David Lee Roth and Sammy Hagar, Eddie's unparalleled musicianship remained a constant. His genius even found its way into Michael Jackson's Beat It with a jaw-dropping guitar solo that still captures imaginations. Though he faced health challenges and navigated band dynamics, Eddie was a pillar of strength and creativity. His commitment to family was evident through his bond with brother Alex, and his nurturing of Sun Wolf's musical talents. Eddie Van Halen's induction into the Rock and Amp Roll Hall of Fame in 2007 cemented his legacy as a true rock luminary. The world will dearly miss this guitar hero. Tribute to Eddie Van Halen. 